Alright, so yeah, I bought my stuff, and Toad uh, gives me a rock candy that I can't hold because I just bought too much stuff. Oh, the irony. Whatever. So, I kind of skipped through all that Toad dialogue last time. I didn't even read it. I'm assuming I got here somehow. You had to fight through all the enemies and stuff, but hey, guess what? I managed to get past them all. And I brought a bunch of stuff, so yeah, you can buy it. Anyway, I remember reading a post about this funky thing on the GameFAQs uh, Mario RPG board, where apparently there was an area like this somewhere else in the game, I think, like, near Seaside Town, and it was called Mario's Factory. Like, I, it didn't exist, but basically the topic was that, like, this person had played it in a rented copy of the game, and they thought that it was, like, a beta copy. I think data does exist for it somewhere in the ROM, but, uh, yeah, yeah, these characters are dumb. <clears throat> but, I don't know, I just, I always like stuff like that because, I, I don't know, I, I just do. I used to be really, really, really gullible when it came to video game secrets. Like, my cousin once convinced me that, uh, in Mario RPG, or, not Mario, in Mario 64, you could find a pink bob on buddy running around shifting sandland, and if you caught it, then you could take it out of the level, and you could throw it at the snowman in snowman's land, and blow it up, and inside it, you would find a hedgehog that shot needles at you, and if you punched the needles as they got close to you, then they would drop stars, and you could keep doing this until you got 200 stars. I ran around Shifting Sandland for hours looking for that stupid bob on buddy. <coughs> I, I was a very dumb child. I think he also said something about, like, uh, um, a keypad on the bottom of the ship in Jolly Roger Bay, and you could, like, put in a code and it would open up. I really hope I didn't tell this story in some other segment, I have fe or of some other game. I have a feeling I did, but, you know what, here's the story again. And then I immediately tell it again. So, actually, wait. Seeing as how this is a palette swap of the last boss... I have a guess what he's going to be thinking here. The other one was like, I've worked here for 10 years. So, is this one going to be, I worked here for 15 years? Come on. Yeah, pretty much. It was off by 10, but still. <coughs> it's kind of amazing. Okay, you die. And then I die from the hammer. I don't know how I would manage to pull that off. <sighs> okay, that's one more. Here we go. Uh, Mallow's scene was entirely pointless, but now Bowser gets this scene, which is actually awesome because he recites a haiku. I, I don't know why. And for some reason, the haiku is was written by haiku. I'm guessing that was supposed to just say Bowser at the end, but then they're like, people won't realize it's a haiku, we must point it out. So. Alright, let's attempt to give more characters dialogue. Yep, Peach sure is a useful character. Well, she is, if she's on your team, but you know what I mean. She has three words in her vocabulary, like, in, in in any other game. It's just Mario and help me. Like, l play Mario 3D Land and tell me that she says any other words, and I will be very surprised. <coughs> that, I mean, pretty much every recent Mario game has just bludgeoned us over the head with that fact. Wait, what? Why? What does that mean? 
I don't know what I was saying. Just, like, at this point, it's not, it's not a lack of story, and it's not pointing out a lack of story, it's pointing out the fact that they point out the fact that there's a lack of story. I have no problem with this, They're, they don't need to have story, but it, it's just kind of ridiculous at this point. Okay, I don't know what I was just saying, but uh, I actually... Okay, lesson here. Do not underestimate this stupid enemy. As lame as you might think it is. Uh, I just went through fighting this thing for a while and got myself into a really, really shitty situation, and after about five minutes of just bitching about how stupidly and, like, unexpectedly hard it got, I, I just decided to scrap it, and I used earlier times, because I don't have any save states. So, yeah, fighting this thing again, um... Don't attack the mallets. They'll just respawn. It would, it would probably be a good idea to get rid of three of them and leave the last, but eh, you know what, I'm going to do that. Those things are just dicks. I, I don't know what it is about this fight. It is definitely not hard. I just... The first two were so pointless that I could not think of this one in any other way, and I also don't remember it being hard at all for many of my pri like previous playthroughs of this game, so all I can say is don't slack off, really, and don't leave two of your team members dead thinking, oh, it'll die in the next turn like I did with the stupid Earthlink. That one I managed to brute force through with red essences. This guy is not worth a red essence. He's not even worth a red bull. It's funny, because he's red and he has bull horns. And also... Not gonna restart the computer. Y you, you can just go away. Anyway, here. Here's, here's a smart thing to do. Revive your teammates. Toad has a shop, like, a few yards away. J take advantage of this fact. Hey, look. He died. What do you know? Okay, so yeah, lesson, just don't be stupid. Also, his psychopath thing had absolutely nothing to do with anything. It was like, I can't believe I lost it. Or something. I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell that was. That was scary. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run away. Uh, yeah, save block... Oh yeah, there is one more boss here. I forgot. I forgot about this thing. Because it's such a sonic boss that I have no idea why it's in this game. I, I don't know what this thing is. Anyway, palette swap of an enemy we saw earlier. I'm guessing he has a lot more HP than he has any right to. I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Right now focusing on this thing because it it's called the gun yoke. That's all you really need to know. Like, does that not sound like some... God, a thousand? What the hell is this fight? Like, seriously, what is that thing? It's the egg monsters from Mars which was a Goosebumps book, and it was the first one that I ever read. And I don't know why, because it, it sucked, like most other Goosebumps books. But hey, when you were a kid, those things were awesome. Animorphs was way better, though. <coughs> oh god, the breaker beam? Forgot that it had that, and the entire team dies, except that they didn't. probably see how much HP the stupid gun yoke has now, but... Eh. Whatever, I'll just boost Mario. That's just a generic action that will probably help. I'm also wondering... 
well, not wondering, but taking note of the appalling, like, oh god, <clears throat> just the lack of perspective here. Like, look at the platform that they're standing on, and look at the position that the gun yoke is, and it just, it bugs me. Don't, don't ever look at it that way, because it'll piss you off. Also, I'm so glad that uh, Mario got turned into a mushroom right after giving him the boost. Guess I'll just use a freshen up if I don't die from this stupid thing. Okay, stupid boss fights. So many stupid boss fights in this area. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. Just when in doubt, use the star egg. That's what I'm gonna go with. This game really has just driven me into a corner with commentary. It's like, no wonder I've been putting it off. Except, that has nothing to do with the reason. The reason I've been putting it off is because I haven't had reliable computer access, but I've already said that like 30 times, but... God. This is just so boring. And yet I can't just not focus, because then the bosses will get the better of me. And you know what I get to do after fighting this? I get to fight more bosses. It th this is the second to last one. I, w I, w I will admit that. Spoilers, but... Yeah, there's another thing I have to go back and do. And it's going to be pretty awful, but that's exactly why I'm going to do it. Because the majority of this playthrough has been so useless. I want to at least give that an attempt. Most people probably know what I'm talking about, if you know anything about this. Yeah, that thing was sitting on a screw. I'm not even going to finish my sentence, because that was bad. It was sitting on a screw. Damn, that did a lot of damage. Uh, how many caracols do I have? You know, at this point, four actually is less than I would like. I'm going to do the unimaginable and use HP Rain. When's the last time I freaking used this thing? Because I don't think I have any max mushrooms. I probably got rid of them all. Uh, do I have one? I thought I had one. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I got rid of it to get the rock candy. <coughs> and Mallow dies, or turns into a mushroom. Okay, you had a thousand HP. Are you almost dead yet? I haven't been counting. Okay, good. Alright. Enjoying level ups. Now is a good time to get one. Because Lord knows I'm going to need it. I mean, yeah, this game is beatable at level 3, just don't ask me how. I guess just ridiculous, like, equipment and... I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Let's just watch that crane that has one tiny segment of a chain attached to it, and whatever the hell is happening to the screen when the dialog box loads. There's no turning back now, except there totally is. Yes. Okay, I think Gino was actually trying to hint towards some sort of a major thing there, but... Yeah, it's not a point of no return. It's just the game telling you, hey, this is the final boss. If you have anything else you want to do, go back and do it. And that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah, I'll buy some stuff here, and then, uh, stuff. <laughs> that, that's about it. So, next time, uh, Unspeakable Horrors.